All right, what's up, good people? Pastor D logging in from sunny Southern California. As y'all can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful day here in sunny SoCal. And I wanted to tap in um, and challenge you and encourage you with this thought in mind, tapping into God's power, tapping into God's power. Now, what do I mean when I say tapping into God's power? Many of you are doing very well with your own power. You're committed to going to the gym. You go hard, you're dedicated, you set goals. You're educating your mind and those things are good and I encourage you to continue to do those things. But if you wanna separate yourself from the pack, if you wanna create a story that's worth telling, then you need to tap into God's power. Um, there are a lot of people that are great parents. They're not using God's power. They're just being responsible. They love their children. Uh, there are a lot of great entrepreneurs who are doing great things in the world. Don't even believe in God, but they're committed to their craft. They're educating their minds. There are a lot of athletes that are doing well who don't even acknowledge God, but they're committed, they're dedicated, they're going to the gym. And I encourage you to do those things. But if you want to get a greater return on your investment, then you need to tap into God's power. One story in the Bible that comes to mind when I think about tapping into God's power is the story of David and Goliath and David and his encounter with Goliath. Um, David went to that battlefield. He wasn't planning on fighting Goliath that day, but he found himself up against a giant who was bigger than him, stronger than him, who had more experience than him. But David was successful in defeating Goliath because David had tapped into God's power. Everybody that was witnessing that knew that David should have lost that battle. But David defeated Goliath because he tapped into God's power. And the same is true for us. When we learn to live our lives in the fullness of God's glory, utilizing his power, we can do supernatural things. We can amaze the people that are watching us. And it's not just for the sake of amazing them, but it's for the sake of them looking at what's happening in our lives and seeing what we're up against and knowing what we bring to the table and concluding that it has to be God. And I can speak of this from experience because I didn't even graduate from high school, but I regularly impart wisdom to people who have more degrees than a thermometer. And it's not because of my abilities, but it's because of God working through me. And so they know me, they know my background and my experience. And so they have to conclude that that's God's power working through him. And that's what God wants for you. That, that power is available for you as well if you would tap into it. And one of the ways that we tap into God's power is by prioritizing our lives around Him, running every decision, everything that we do through the grid of what is God's will. The first conversation that you have every morning should be a conversation with God, asking God how you should spend your day, who you should do business with, who you should marry, these are important decisions, but you're running these decisions through the grid of what is God's will. And God doesn't always speak clearly to us, but if you learn to do this and you make this a habit, his voice is more and more clear. And until then, you know, if God is not clear to you, learn how to go to other people that you know who are walking with God and ask them for wisdom. And so I can go on and on with this. I just wanted to tap in and encourage one or two people with that thought in mind, tapping into God's power. With that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Pastor D, I love you all. Take care.